Today, jurors heard from the doctor who witnessed the say first put the pieces together that IV bags were the source of multiple cardiac emergencies at a North Dallas Surgical Center. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. This is the fourth day of testimony in the trial of a doctor who prosecutors say was caught on camera putting tainted IV bags in a warmer, resulting in one death and a number of cardiac emergencies. Fox 4's Lori Brown reports. We no longer felt a pulse. That is what Dr. Thomas Hung testified about the horrific events that unfolded during a simple surgery to repair Jack Adlerstein's nose after a bike accident. Hung said there were signs of fluid in his lungs. Someone suggested we change the IV back, Dr. Hung testified, and in one minute, Jack's condition improved. That someone turned out to be anesthesiologist Dr. Chad Marsden. No question. Thank you so much. Dr. Marsden testified how he came to the realization the IV bags could be behind a string of cardiac emergencies and patients at the center. August 19th, 2022, a Friday, his patient, Kelly Pfeiffer, experienced skyrocketing blood pressure, and unlike any other case, he could not control it with medication. She was rushed to the ER. Dr. Marsden noticed the nurse there gave her a new IV bag so she could chart the volumes. Pfeiffer's condition improved and she survived the event. Over the weekend, Dr. Marsden said he could not stop thinking about the case. Nothing made sense about it. When Pfeiffer's surgeon called him, he told her, if a week from now you told me an investigation found someone was putting epinephrine in IV bags, I would be horrified but not surprised. He said he knew it sounded outlandish. He called the surgery care administrator, Ashley Bergs, to see if he could come look at charts for the unusual cases. He had the opportunity Wednesday. When he pulled up, an ambulance was already there. The patient in distress was Jack Adlerstein. After Jack was transported to the hospital, he instructed personnel that nothing should leave the room. He found a wrapper for an IV bag, and it had a small hole in it. Former U.S. Attorney Paul Coggin says the government could soon rest its case. If I were a prosecutor and I presented a case like this, and I had so much powerful testimony, it, it, not just a one-two punch, really, but a one-two-three-four punch here to the jury where they're getting hit with all these emotional stories, I would think an ideal time for me to rest as the government would be Friday afternoon and send this jury home for the weekend thinking about my case. Some jurors have asked if court will still be in session Monday, the day of the total solar eclipse. The judge has said yes, but he will allow for an extended lunch break so that jurors will be able to come out to see the eclipse outside.